Welcome to Total Body Workout with Dumbbells. We have selected eight exercises for you and we will do them twice. Select a weight that strains you, but you can do 15 reps with. Rest a little between the moves to make the routine harder or rest longer to make it easier. Repeat the sequence more than once if you need to. Let's start off with exercise one, a chest press to crunch with legs up. In this exercise, it is very important to try to keep your legs as straight and as high as possible. Focus on keeping your abs tight all throughout. Lie down on the mat with your legs straight up 90 degrees if possible. If not, keep your legs straight and lower them to maintain straightness. Focus on your quads, tense it up. Do a chest press on the way up and reach for your toes. Do not touch the weights to your legs. Come all the way down so that your shoulders touch the mat and come up as high as you can, reaching for your toes. Breathe out on the chest press and reach up. Breathe in on the way down. Moving on to exercise number two, Superman. Try to maintain perfect posture with your shoulders over your wrist and your glutes over your knees. Position yourself on all fours. Grab the weight with one hand. At the same time, extend your right arm and left leg. Try to go up as high as you can without sacrificing your form. Breathe out every time you extend, keeping abs tight all throughout the exercise. Do one rep at a time, focusing on squeezing your glutes and squeezing your shoulders on the extension. Keep your arms straight when extending up to do a frontal raise with your shoulders. Keep your legs straight back. Create a perfect line from your hand to your shoulder to your hip to your knee down to your foot. You're doing a great job guys, keep it up. Exercise number three, butterfly abs with curls. In this exercise, make sure to maintain a perfect balance with the glutes while you do a set of curls with a set of butterfly abs. Lie down on the mat legs and arms straight. Do a crunch by pulling your knees up to your chest and at the same time with your arms locked by your side, curl the weights up as you crunch up. Do one rep at a time, focusing on your core and abs. Breathe out on the way up and extend without touching your feet or your back to the ground. Breathe and curl. Moving to exercise number four, jackknife with one dumbbell. This exercise focuses on the abs. Try to keep your arms and legs as straight as possible, but if you need to, bend your knees up when you pull up. Lie down, holding onto one dumbbell. Try to keep your arms straight over your head. Do a full sit up, 
balance on your glutes, keeping your legs straight if possible. Crunch up as high as you can, reaching your hands toward your toes, and then slowly, in control, lower yourself down to the ground. Go full range, lie down all the way with your arms straight over your head and crunch and reach for your toes. Exercise number five, chest and leg fly with crunch. Start with your legs straight up with your arms apart at shoulder level. As you crunch up, close your legs together. When you come down to the mat, keep your arms and legs spread open. Crunch up, breathe out, reach your hands in towards your toes, and bring your legs together. Keep the abs tight all throughout the exercise. On the way up, you breathe out. On the way down, you breathe in. It's so important to keep hydrated, so make sure you're drinking lots of water during these circuits. Exercise six is a plank and row. This exercise is also known as a renegade. Position yourself on all fours. With perfect posture, Keep the glutes down and pull the elbows up as high as you can with a slight twist in the body. Come all the way down and give yourself a little rest. Keeping your legs straight with your feet shoulder width apart will help maintain a nice balance. Do 15 reps, then switch sides. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands, legs are straight, and glutes are down. If you were to measure a line from your head to your shoulders, to your hips, to your knees, to your feet, it should be a straight diagonal line downward. Hold as still as you can. Work on your core, your shoulders, your legs, and your back. Rest is so important, so make sure you get plenty of rest before you do any exercise. Getting plenty of sleep and rest is a crucial element in any successful exercise program. Another important factor is your diet. You can't out-exercise a bad diet. So be sure to eat clean and train smart. Moving on to exercise seven, side leg lifts. This exercise gets you on all fours and works on your glutes. Position yourself on all fours. Straighten up one leg. By keeping it straight, you want to swing it as high up as possible and bring it right back next to the other leg. Keeping your body perfectly in alignment, your shoulders should be over your wrist and your hips should be over your knees. Keep your core and abs tense all throughout the exercise. Go nice and slow to maximize your balance and the efficiency of contracting the glute muscles. When finished with one side, switch to the other and continue again. Tensing up on the quads will ensure that you keep the legs straight and stay better focused on the exercise. Setting a realistic goal and training for it increases your chances of reaching your desired fitness level. 
You don't want to make the mistake of solely exercising without a comprehensive training program that includes a nutrition and exercise plan. Exercise number eight, plank with the knee to opposite elbow. This exercise incorporates both a push-up stance and an inward spider. Start in a plank position making sure your shoulders are over your wrist and the body is in a straight line down from the shoulders to the hip to the knee to the ankle. Keep the body perfectly aligned all throughout the exercise. Breathe out as you bring the knee to the opposite elbow. Keeping the body still will ensure you work the shoulders, abs, and hip flexors. Go nice and slow to maintain perfect balance and keep yourself in total control. Weight training in the morning will not only get your day started off right, but it will also help kickstart your metabolism into high gear for the next 24 to 48 hours. If you must do cardio after a weight training session, limit it to no more than 30 minutes, giving your muscles a chance to grow. Great job on making it through circuit number one. You're doing amazing. Now we're gonna start circuit number two with the chest press to crunch with legs up. Now that you've gone through the first circuit, circuit number two will be a little bit harder. Remember to select a pair of weights that you are comfortable with, but that will make you feel a burn towards the last two or three reps. Focus on your form, keeping your legs locked. You're stronger than before, so go a little bit faster. Go as fast as you can, but as always, maintain perfect control all throughout your set. Exercise number two, Superman. For circuit number two, grab a weight that is a little bit heavier than the first circuit. Extend up a little bit higher than you did before. Again, the second circuit requires that you go a little faster and stronger so select a weight that is a little heavier than before, and as always, time it so that your arms and shoulders will burn out within the last two to three reps. Tense up on your arms so you can track the muscles all throughout the exercise, keeping the abs really tight. Make sure you've hydrated yourself well before the exercise and always have water around so you can have a little sip of water between circuits or sets. Now don't be discouraged if you don't see changes right away. You may not see it, but your muscles are growing and you're getting more fit. Keep training with weights three times a week for a minimum of 30 minutes. You'll see results within 60 days.
Exercise number three is one of my favorites. It's a butterfly ab with curls. Select a heavier weight so that when you curl within the last two to three reps, you feel a nice burn in your biceps or it becomes really difficult to do your crunches. Lie down, locking your arms by your side and keep your body in a straight line. Crunch up by pulling your knees to your chest and curl the weight up to your shoulders. Go full range, but without putting your feet down or your back touching the ground, always balancing on your glutes. Please don't forget to stretch after this workout. Exercise number four is a jackknife with one dumbbell. This exercise is a little more challenging, but please select a weight that is a little heavier than the one you used in the first set. Lie down in a straight line, holding on to one dumbbell, preferably on the outside. Crunch up as high as you can, reaching for your toes. It is best and most challenging if you keep your legs straight and you crunch up and actually touch your toes. But if you can't, go up as far as you can. Never try to rest for too long when you're at the bottom. This exercise works all of your abdominal muscles. It is especially good for getting rid of that little pooch that we're all struggling with. Exercise number five, chest and leg fly with crunch. This is a combo exercise, so make sure you go nice and steady and focus on each and every movement that is required. Select a set of dumbbells so that you burn out within the last two to three reps. Start with your arms and legs apart, laying on your back. Crunch up as high as you can. As you crunch and reach for your toes, close your legs. Spreading the legs as far as you can will ensure more muscle contractions and a harder exercise for you to do. You can do this. You've gone through the first set, so you know what to do. Breathe out and crunch up as high as you can. Exercise number six, plank with a row. Keeping the body in a straight line, you want to row up as much as you can and go all the way down. To make this exercise a little more challenging, because it is circuit number two, instead of putting the hands all the way down, you may want to bring them down and right before you touch the ground, row up again. Remember, you're doing this for yourself, by yourself. Be very proud. When training with weights, your muscles need lots of nourishment. Please make sure to drink a protein shake within 30 minutes after you finish this workout. Buy the best protein powder that you can afford. Our favorite protein powder is hemp, which you can purchase from any health food store or online. Hemp protein contains more essential amino acids than any other form of protein powder and is readily absorbed by the body. When training with weights, your muscles need lots of nourishment. Please make sure to drink a protein shake within 30 minutes after you finish this workout. Buy the best protein powder that you can afford. Our favorite powder is hemp, which you can purchase from any health food store or online. Hemp protein contains more essential amino acids than any other form of protein powder, and it's readily absorbed by the body.
Exercise number seven, side leg lifts. Position yourself on all fours. Since this is the second circuit, to challenge your glutes a little bit more, lock out your legs and bring it up as high to the side as you can, a little bit higher up than you did in circuit number one. To make this exercise a little bit more challenging, instead of touching the ground every time you go sideways and backwards, keep the leg in the air and don't touch the ground. Throughout this workout, we have carefully chosen types of exercises that use multiple muscles to maximize your calorie burn. By engaging multiple muscles, you are forced to exercise the mind-body connection, killing two birds with one stone. To help you recoup and repair muscles, be sure to drink plenty of water, stretch, rest, and eat one gram of protein for every two pounds of body weight. Exercise number eight is a plank with knee to opposite elbow. This is the moment you've been waiting for, the last exercise, you're doing great. This exercise requires a lot of core, shoulders, and legs. Position yourself on all fours, on your hands and toes. To make this exercise more challenging, make sure when you swing your knee to the opposite side, you bring it up a little higher than before and go a little bit faster. But of course, always maintain perfect posture throughout the exercise. As you get stronger, you may want to either repeat the entire sequence once or twice more, or increase the number of reps to 20 or 25. In any weight training program, you gain most when your mind tells you you can't do any more. Never give up, and you should be very proud of yourself. <laughs>